Today we are going to cover how to combine facial animation clips, which is especially important if you're going to add emotion to your audio-driven animations. We'll be doing this by revealing some of the new 5.5 features as well as some of the hidden ones that many creators miss. At the end, we'll also reveal some free content that you can use with your own work. So let's jump in and get started. We're going to quickly go from this. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. To this. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. First workflow we're going to demonstrate is to have the audio clip drive the mouth shapes. And the first step in that process is to turn on the plugin. So we're going to go under plugins and it's the MetaHuman plugin that we need to turn on. So now I have that turned on already. If it wasn't, I would be prompted to restart Unreal. But now that that's turned on, I can create a folder. I did Control Shift N and just right click, go to MetaHuman Animator, and MetaHuman Performance is what I'm looking for. So we'll call this My Performance 1. And I'm going to hit Enter to open that up. Now, this is just a few drop downs that we're going to change here. So the input type will switch to audio. The audio will choose the audio clip that we want. So why don't we choose a different one than the default that I showed? We'll call cultivate the garden within. We'll cultivate the garden within. OK, the control rig. So we can go down and we can choose the MetaHuman control rig and then the visualization mesh, I'm going to choose this one, the one that we have there. And it's saying it's recommended to use the audio clock as the source. And so you just say yes. And so now we have the audio clip, all of the information. We just need to process the data so that it generates the mouth shapes. So, and the process button is right at the top here. So I'm going to click on process. And it really processes quickly. It generates keyframes. And let's take a look. Cultivate, cultivate the garden within. You're not seeing anything until you export the animation or the uh, level sequence. So you do both, really. Or that's what I do. Export animation. We'll go to, we'll just drop right into that folder. We can just leave it at the default. Let's say great. And then we'll also export a level sequence. Okay. Awesome. Now let's take a look at what we've got. So I am going to open. So here's the anim sequence that we created that has the keyframes. Here's the level sequence. So I'll double click, open up the level sequence and cultivate. We've got the audio clip that comes in. So cultivate. what do we need to do? We need to bring in the metahuman. So if you don't have the metahuman, you can drag one into the scene. So I'm going to select the metahuman. You can go under add or control A. So I'm going to hit control A that adds the metahuman to the scene. And now that that's in the scene, go down to face and we need to remove the control rig for the face. So I've, I've done that and I'm going to instead add that anim sequence. So you see there's an anim sequence there and it's the AS my meta human that we want to add as the face uh, animation. So we'll go here, go up to animation and it should be one of the top ones. So let's see AS my meta human performance. There it is. And you can see it's already in, in place. So let's uh, give it a shot here. Cultivate the garden within. Awesome. So there we go. Very simple. On to the next step. The next workflow that we're going to show is going to combine animation layers and the facial expressions that we want to get on this character. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to add some animation layers. And to do that, we need to go into the animation modes tab. Uh, let's shift eight or just drop this down. And once we've got that up, we can go to the layers. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find and apply one of the hidden set of facial expressions that are in there for metahumans. And those are under poses. So I'm going to click on poses 
And now those are deep in the MetaHumans folder. And so to do that, what I'm gonna first do is add an existing folder to view. So what I do is I go to the MetaHumans folder, go down, it's under MetaHumans, common, common, and then pose library and then click OK and that will add it to this view so you can see it's already there so now I'm going to go under metahumans common common and post library and you can see there's a uh, face and expressions and visumes so under expressions now there's a bunch of expressions and one of the things that I want to recommend is for doing this process you probably want to choose a facial expression that's more closed especially if you're going to combine it with the mouth movements for the speech i've spoke with some character animators and of course if you're going to work with somebody who's a great character animator you can let them do their thing and they can pause the uh, the dialogue and dial open large facial expressions for this example though i'm going to choose a mostly closed facial expression or maybe two so we'll do amusement we need to select the controls and set the keys and paste the pose. Now, nothing's gonna happen because we don't have that facial rig yet on the character. So we're gonna have to add that back. So we'll select the face, go to control rig, and we'll just add the facial control rig back to the character. Okay, now that it's back, you can, if I scrub on this timeline again, we won't see the, the character doing the dialogue. I'm going to combine all that in the final step. Again, we'll select amusement, select the controls, and then I can paste keys or select keys. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those to a layer. I'm going to then add all those selected and we'll just call this smile. And then I will paste the pose and it sets some keys can slide it over a little bit. Maybe we can add another, let's see, a bigger joy there. So we'll select the controls and paste. Okay. And now what you can see is that this is an additive set on an animation layer. I can turn this all off or turn it back on. And that's wonderful. And what I can do then is if I wanted to, I could experiment with another set of controls and I could do another layer if I wanted to. So uh, for example, if I wanted to experiment with another expression, so select the controls, create a new layer and paste that in. So now you can see that I've got animation layer two, Right click and rename the layer dejection. Okay, let's move on to the final stage, which is combining multiple animations. Now we have the animated face with the emotion and then we also have the moving mouth from the audio clip. So I'm gonna close this rig pose and we also have a choice here of anim layers. We can, we actually can blend these two right now. This is sort of a smile that I, he's smiling, but dejected at the same time. Maybe he's trying to put on a good face. I'm just going to leave him so he's smiling. And what do we need to do to be able to use this as an animation clip? Uh, the way we can do that is go up to the top where we go and we choose the face. Now we right click and here's where you have a choice. You can choose to bake the animation sequence and that will generate keyframes for every for every frame with those facial expressions but what i like to do is instead to create a linked animation sequence so if you choose that and it says where do you want to save the linked animation sequence that under my content and put that here and I'm going to export that and that generates an animation clip. So we should be able to see that here. Awesome. So now what do we do? Now we can actually get rid of the animation control rig again. Yep. He looks a little surprised, but it's actually, he's back to, he's got the animation clip. And what we can do then is now we can add the second animation clip of the, the character smiling. So under face, 
go under here, we can go to animation and type in face. So now we've got the face smile sequence. If we turned off the other animation, we could just see the smile. And here's where we can blend the two. We could even add a third one. Awesome, I love it. All right, before we sign off, I wanna pass on a few additional pro tips here. The first is that once you delete that control rig, the facial control rig, all the keyframes under smile and dejection are gone. So if you wanna save that content, what I recommend is going into the level sequence and duplicating and renaming the level sequence before you delete the control rigs. So that will help preserve those facial keyframes. Now, the next thing that I wanna point out is some of the content that I got from interviewing and speaking with two friends who are pro animators. So I spoke with Heather Carpini, who's worked on numerous AAA titles and films, and also Kevin McNulty, who is a professor and also an international award-winning character animator. And they gave me some great tips. One is, that I wouldn't have noticed until I had this character talking is that while I do have the character smiling and the character speaking, the actual audio clip doesn't reflect the change in emotion accurately. How so? Well, if you've ever heard somebody talking into the phone and you start to hear them talking, you can kind of tell that I'm smiling right now, right? I'm smiling and I'm talking. Kevin mentioned also the mouth shape would get wider and a larger if the character is yelling and also the face shape changes especially if the character has got an accent so these are all worth noting in terms of having the the facial animation and also the emotional elements all they all work together to create the correct kind of animation so what i recommend is if possible work with somebody who's amazing at animation those are the final tips I will also share links in for how to get the blinked animation that I showed at the beginning here added to the character. I showed that in just a, a recent previous video on blinks and character animation. Let me know if you bump into any questions. I'd love to hear your thoughts on your own process and if any of you are using a baked workflow versus the linked animation workflow. But if you like the video, give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more weekly Unreal content.